man's most magnificent achievement in the conquest of space, the man-made planetoid Space Academy, founded in the star year 3732. gathered young people from the farthest reaches of all the known worlds. They have been chosen for their unique abilities and are being trained to cope with the mysterious, the unknown, the unpredictable dangers lurking in the vast darkness of space. How's the monitoring coming along, Adrian? Oh, hi, Commander. Zalon's accelerating slowly, just entering the second quadrant. That's exactly what the planet Sumar did 60 years ago. The pressure's built up slowly, and then suddenly it exploded, which is what the planet Zalon will do in approximately 48 hours, unless I'm mistaken. Carry on, Adrian. Commander! Look at this! What is it? It's gone now. It was a burst of red. I know, I saw it. Red means life. Something is alive on Zalon. Adrian, our surveys and reports prove there are no life forms on Zalon. It's a barren world, you know that. But I... You never know. Well, I do know. There's life on Zalon. Let's not make hasty decisions, Adrian. People, will you give us a reading on the planet Zalon, please? Geophysics survey conducted two years ago showed a modified oxygen atmosphere. No mineral well, no life forms. Case book on planet Zalon is closed. Did you hear that? The last survey was taken two years ago and the case book is closed. There could be life on Zalon and no one would know or even care. But Adrian. We do want to know, and we do care. I think we should send a mission to Ceylon and find out. And since you've been so closely involved with this assignment, I think you should go. Oh, thank you, Commander. Congratulations, Adrian. Yes, sir. This is Commander Gampu. Have Lieutenant Jerome report to control, please. He's needed to man the base communications. Yes, sir. Laura and Tigar, we may require your skills in psychology and medicine if we find a new life form. Yes, people, you will navigate. Thank you, Commander. Now then, we will, of course, need a pilot as well. Now, let me see. Chris. Yes, sir. <laughs> Commander. Yes. For a minute, I thought you were going to leave me out. I'm quite sure Adrian will welcome your company. I'm also quite sure that you would never forgive me if I left you out. Hadn't you best prepare? Yes, sir.
nothing yet, huh? Oh, sorry, I... Uh, well, um... Carry on. Hang in there, brother. But not too close. Seeker, this is Academy Control. There is something following you. Come in, Seeker. Map Control. What produces an energy field? Come in, Control. Commander, we've lost visual contact on all screens. I wonder what Control is trying to tell us. Thank you for protecting our young ones, but do not fear. The invaders will be examined and classified. If they prove hostile, they will be dealt with. tells us that Zelan's atmosphere is very close to ours, so you will not be needing your life support systems. These energy sensors will help you to locate that life form if it exists. Pipo and I will take the Seeker and put her into orbit. If we can get out far enough, we might be able to break away from the communications interference and find out what Control is trying to tell us. Good idea, sir. Then maybe we can meet back here around 1830 hours? Things should be pretty unstable here at 1830 hours. I would like to rendezvous on this spot at 1600 hours, understood? Right, Commander. We'll be here. With whomever or whatever we find out there. Good luck and good hunt. Right, Commander. Let's go. Go? Take off, people. Listen. What is it? I thought I heard something. I heard something, too. It's gone now. <laughs> Control to Seeker. Come in, Commander. It's back. Control to Seeker. Cop. We do not copy, Paul. Negative. Communications are totally inoperative, Commander. So are the ship's controls. They appear to be frozen. We can't go anywhere, sir. We are immobilized. You need not be afraid of these invaders, young one. We've already entered and immobilized their ship, and we'll do whatever else becomes necessary to protect our children and you. The energy reading rises in this direction. The ground stability factors back to normal. Chris, look. These rocks. It looks as if someone put them here, neatly, one by one. I wonder who or what. I don't know. Wait a minute. Look at that. I'm getting an energy reading. Whoever made these footprints is still around close. Then you were right, Adrian. 
There is life on Zaylon. Any luck, people? I can't get through. Keep trying. Look at these rocks, Adrian. Look at the way they're piled. Hey, there's something underneath. They look like some sort of crystal formation. They hardly look natural. They're more like cut gemstones. They're identical. Hey, look at the energy reading. It's off the scale. It must be those crystals. See if you can find some more. Try the academy frequency control down. I boosted the signal. Seeker to control, come in. Do you read me? Come in. I can't make contact, Commander. There must be a way to get through. Thank you for trying to keep our young ones from harm. Now these babies are taking them away. We will stop them. <laughs> the source of this red light. It's like a ship. A huge red glowing crystal hovering above you. Watching. Watching. Seeing everything we do. Holding us. Hearing everything we say. Thank you, Paul. Well, hear this, whatever, whoever you are. The planet below us is going to break up. We are here to rescue any life forms trapped down there. You've got to let us complete our mission. No! Our crystals must stay on the planet to complete their cycle and become adults. The destruction of our planet will provide the energy necessary for this transformation. We welcome it. Listen to me. Some people from my planet are down there. Surely you will allow us to get them out first. They may stay and join in the great life transformation. No, you don't understand. What may mean life to your beings means death for mine. Please release my people before it is too late. We will consider your request. Don't give up. Keep concentrating. It's beginning to work. It's working! You got it! <laughs> the crystals! He took the crystals! Wait! Come back! Don't run away! Please, come back! You've got to come with us! No. 840 seconds until we are to rendezvous. I'm aware of that, people. We have considered your words. You and your people may go, but the boy child will remain. The boy child? 
He is one we have cared for since he was found here. But if he's not one of you, you must let him go. He is content to remain with us. If you insist upon keeping him, he will always be a stranger here. You cannot condemn him to such a lonely future. We have nothing further to say to you. You are depriving him of his natural heritage if you keep him here. It's a terrible injustice. We hear you. You have shown him kindness. It means that you are good. If you want what is best for him, let him go, I beg of you. Your concern for the boy tells us that you are more worthy of life than we thought. You are free to take your people, our young ward too, if he will go. I thank you. The controls are operational, Commander. Take us down, people. Please, you must come with us. You're in great danger. No, my friends will protect me. This has been my home. Where do you come from? I don't remember. What about your mother? She used to play this and sing to me. And I was wearing this when I woke up here. We want to help you. Trust us. We've got to leave this planet before it breaks up, and we want to take you with us. Who are you? I am your friend. Don't be afraid. Please, bring the crystals and come with us. No, Adrian. Just the boy, not the crystals. Well, please, leave the crystals, but come with us. I want to stay here. I don't believe it. May I speak to you? Well, you have a most remarkable skill, young man. Please, don't disappear again. Look at all those fine young people. I assure you, they will not harm you. They are your friends. They want only to take care of you, to protect you, just as I do. If you come with us, you will see and learn many things about the great world out there. You will develop skills even more marvelous than your disappearing trick. And most important of all, you will be loved. Never again be alone. Young one, we thank you for protecting our children. But he who speaks to you can be trusted. We believe him. Go with him. I thank you for caring for me. Go now. Time is very short. I am ready to go with you now. the cycle of life continues. What is your name, young man? I don't know. Well, then, I'll give you one. I think we'll call you Loki. Loki. I like it. You know, on the ancient planet Earth, Loki was the Norse god of mischief. I think that name suits you very well. <laughs> you can say that again. All right, let's settle down for the long journey home. Those colored things she's putting into a bowl. Laura? Well, we can't see what she's doing. How do you know what she's doing in there? Do you have some kind of special vision? I don't know. I just see her. Here she comes. You actually saw her put the apples in the bowl, Loki? Apples? Is that what they're called? <laughs> have an apple, Loki. You've got to bite into it. Mm. <laughs> no, 
That's right. But don't spray. <laughs> well, Loki, come here a minute, will you? It's quite obvious that your name is exactly right for you. As for the rest of us, I think we'd best prepare for a series of uh, interesting surprises. Apple. Apple.